Growing up, Mom told us stories of Grandpa and just all the things that he did and his involvement with the college um, and his trade. Um, my parents are both teachers. Grandpa being involved as much as he is, it was just kind of made sense for me to go into the, the field of teaching. Grandpa was Dr. Kenneth Carl, an architect of the Pennsylvania Community College system, who began his career as a draftsman with a world-renowned manufacturer of aircraft engines. Dr. Carl left industry to become a drafting teacher and later director of Williamsport Technical Institute, now Pennsylvania College of Technology. In the mid-20th century, the school ranked among the top 10 programs in the United States, offering technical education to developing nations. Dr. Carl's leadership encouraged initiative and experimentation. He persuaded faculty to get out of the ruts and try new ways of teaching. This created an atmosphere that was vital in keeping both faculty and students intellectually alive. In his retirement, Dr. Carl became an accomplished woodcarver and time spent in his shop inspired another future educator. I was going to be an art teacher right up through and high school I experienced shop. And at that point, that's when I really started to realize what I had as a grandfather and uh, got to spend some time in his shop in his basement. Um, I always went in his basement just to see all the tools hanging there and, uh, and observe his work. His birds, of course, were just uh, an inspiration for being an art history, you know, or just having that background of art and how so the construction and the shop, it was just really fun to see that and uh, inspiring. I love creativity. I love um, design. Um, just anything with flair is uh, really inspiring to me. I got into the wood shop and so then one of my first projects to, in high school this was the four poster bed that grandpa designed in college and I took his prints and made my own and uh, just once I got into the construction I was able to take that element of design and creativity and add it to the construction. It really fit my personality. So let's put the guard back down. There's your piece for your roof now so we can... As a teacher and an administrator, Dr. Carl followed an education for all philosophy, which he first displayed by opening his drafting classes to individuals with physical handicaps. His interest in securing equal educational opportunities led to the establishment of the nation's first comprehensive vocational diagnostic program in 1951. The program allowed individuals to test their potential to develop career skills in job trial experiences in the school's vocational shops. The National Rehabilitation Association honored Dr. Carl in 1966 and estimated that he had assisted more than 10,000 physically challenged adults in securing career education opportunities through diagnostic testing. Once I started to find out about kids and the situation, the lifestyles they come from, and you hear these stories, and I, it made me think a lot about you know my grandfather and how he he made a big difference in people's lives. And we heard for years later of all you know we'd hear stories trickling in of different people that have contacted him later in life and the impact he made on their life. And it's really been a model of where I've aspired to go. So in that time, I try to impact them as much as I can, set examples for them, show them what I'd like to see them do, encourage them in where they can go. Um, sky's the limit for them and uh, so oftentimes they come in here with such a heaviness on them and I just want to, you know, take those blinders off and just show them the world. And so that's what we try to do and Grandpa inspired that so much. Design is so much more than just uh, something on paper. You know, if you have the opportunity to build something, a scale model of it, how valuable. And the design build 
opportunity. You know. So, you know, it's an education in itself.